From local stories to Wayne County news, get ready to dive into everything happening in North Carolina with Taylor House Publishing. Got a story to share? Shoot us an email at taylorpublishinghouse at gmail.com. If you're looking to publish your book or need some top-notch mentorship, we've got your back. Join the excitement with the one and only Richard Taylor, right here at Taylor House Publishing. Speak with Richard directly at 919-587-7782. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and invite your family and friends to watch. From Lake County to the Carolina Coast, Taylor House bring the news you love most. Tune in on YouTube, don't miss a beat. Local stories that keep you in your Taylor House, we've got the school. Peace and blessings, peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Uh, all praises due to the Most High. Um, today we're going to quickly talk about a situation uh, in Henderson, North Carolina. Why we are focusing on Henderson, North Carolina is that's the place where 21-year-old Javion McGee uh, was found under suspicious circumstances and authorities have preliminarily ruled that it was in self-inflicted uh, termination. But we've been uncovering some information that exposes the corruption uh, in this town and the surrounding areas. And this story is an example of uh, the lawlessness and the outright corruption and disregard for the law that is prevalent uh, in not only Henderson, Vance County, but in the surrounding counties of Franklin, uh, Warren, uh, Granville, and uh, the like. So uh, this story is about two supposedly bail bonding agents uh, that have been charged by the Department of Insurance of practicing bail bondsmen uh, or bail bonding uh, without a license. Uh, yesterday, I received uh, this article right here. Uh, this article is from the NC Department of Insurance. And there you see uh, this article says two Vance County men charged with acting as a bail bondsman without a license, breaking and entering felonious restraint and simple assault. And as you see, the article reads, uh, the North Carolina Insurance Commissioner Mike Causey today announced the arrest of James Otis Perry <coughs> of Henderson and James DiCarlo Austin of Henderson. Uh, both of these men were charged with felony breaking and entering felonious assault, uh, felonious restraint. The two were also charged with acting as a bail bondsman without a license and simple assault. Now, the special agents with the Department of Insurance Criminal Investigation Division accused the two of acting as bail bondsmen without a license when they broke into an apartment on Franklin Court in Lewisburg, striking a man at the apartment, restraining him and taking him to Franklin County Sheriff Office. Uh, the offenses occurred on August the 21st, approximately two months ago. Uh, the two were arrested on October the 14th. Special agents arrest, expect to arrest an additional person in the case. Now, apparently, uh, these two men went to a residence, and if you've ever been in trouble, uh, you know what bail bondsmen do. Right? If you skip out on a bail or if you fail to go to court, that is when bail bondsmen and you know their henchmen come to your apartment and you know gaffer you up and take you to jail. So apparently, these two men. Uh, were either bail bondsmen at one time or they were acting on behalf of the bail bondsmen, went to a residence, roughed somebody up, took them to jail. But apparently, these two gentlemen were not licensed to operate uh, in that capacity. And so, if you recall the first video I did about J.B. McGee, uh, I went to this location right here. And this location is Perry Bail Bonds. And this is located right across the street uh, from the Henderson Courthouse or, or the Vance County Sheriff Department. And I went to this location. I spoke to a couple of people there. And if you see the name says Perry Bills Bondsman. 
which leads me to believe that uh, James Perry may be affiliated with this establishment. And also, James Austin, you know, may be acting once again in concert with this establishment. Now, let me say uh, these men are innocent until proven guilty. But because this location is right across the street from uh, the Vance County Sheriff Department, I feel that, you know, everyone knows that, you know, these men may or may have not been licensed to uh, practice in that capacity. Now, we've been talking about Sheriff Brain and uh, his complicitness with corruption. I did a video about three Vance County Sheriff officers uh, who were um, basically trying to take people's property when they stopped them. And in that in that article that I, that I read and played, Sheriff Brame said he stands beside uh, his officers. And so if Sheriff Brame stands behind his officers who are running afoul of the law, then if he has knowledge of possibly these guys running afoul of the law, then obviously he may look the other way or avoid uh, any sense of prosecution uh, with these guys. So. I, somebody sent me this and you know it kind of goes with the narrative it goes with the information that we've been finding out about the history about the pattern about uh, the, the the characteristics of corruption and lawlessness in this small town and so once again uh, these gentlemen and I and I didn't find any pictures of them and I didn't post their addresses uh, as you know, a video was removed from YouTube uh, last night uh, concerning uh, the threats that I uh, was receiving from an anonymous number. And we looked up the number and some addresses and names came up. So I didn't put the names, or excuse me, I didn't put the address of these guys because I didn't want this video removed. Now, if you have any information about uh, Mr. James Otis Perry, and Mr. Uh, James Austin, uh, then feel free, James DiCarlo Austin. And you know, I looked up a couple of names on Facebook. Uh, some of them were uh, in Vance County, but I didn't want, I neglected to put anybody's uh, picture uh, out there uh, because, you know, I didn't want to make the uh, mistake that I've made in the past. But uh, these gentlemen from Vance County went to the neighboring Franklin County and took a man to jail there. So that also alludes to the fact that these counties are all in concert. Uh, we've, we've talked about uh, deputies from Franklin County possibly being involved in the uh, unalivement of our brother Javion McGee. So um, this is once again a an example of the navigation through these small towns. But if you do have any information regarding this, uh, are these guys really Bells Bondsmen? Uh, have these guys have a, do, do these guys have a history or propensity or a pattern of, you know, going in, roughing people up and, you know, breaking the law, then please uh, let me know so we can continue to expose those things that are going wrong uh, in Henderson, North Carolina. Now, also this leads me to believe that there is a close eye uh, from uh, outside entities on the city of Vance County and the surrounding areas because evidently they they have a, a reputation uh, for, for, for lack of a better word of doing things wrong. So I've already been told uh, through sources that uh, the feds may be there uh, and, and they may be investigating our brother Javion uh, McGee's case. So um, if you do have any information, once again, 919-587-7782, or you can email taylorpublishinghouse at gmail.com. I uh, thank y'all for watching these videos. Peace and blessings. Y'all have a blessed day.